coming into this, you talked about, hey, this is not really going to be me versus Steph. This is going to be the teams playing each other, and you wanted to have a team mentality. Yeah. Um, as much as you had it cooking late, though, you, you found Royce for that three-pointer. Could you just, I guess, walk us through that play and what led up to that? Yeah, I felt like they, uh, uh, they meaning the Warriors, they, they did a great job of staying on my body, um, keeping the game physical, uh, making it tough. Uh, but I felt like my teammates had a lot of great looks. And for me to uh, draw on the defense, draw on 2-3, for them to lose their man and Royce be wide open, I felt like that was the best shot for our team. So I gave up the ball and trusted him to make it, and luckily it went in. So uh, we've had a few games like that over the course of the season. Uh, where the ball deserves to be in someone else's hands and they have an open look and we got to live by it. So uh, it felt good. It's a great team win and um, filled up the box score. Now we get to fly back home. And you talked about the team win. I mean, you guys were down, whatever, dozen, what, five and change left. Uh, the way you guys ended the game, 22 to six, whatever you, A, how much does that add to the confidence in that room? And B, how did you guys start forcing this team into those turnovers? It's not really something you guys have done a ton of this year. Yeah, we just wanted to make them feel uncomfortable all night, uh, especially in that fourth quarter. We know they uh, get a lot of three attempts up. They do a lot of switching on the on the uh, defensive end. So we want to make it tough, uh, seek out different matchups, and uh, come into this game uh, with a sense of pride on the defensive end. Uh, you know, we've got to make it tough. Uh, some nights we're going to put points on the board very easily. Guys are feeling good, and some nights we're going to have to uh, really rely on our poise, really rely on our defensive pressure, um, and let that lead us to wins. So it's not going to look pretty. I've been saying this since the beginning of the season. It's not going to look pretty some games, but uh, if we're resilient and we take care of the defensive end, I feel like we give ourselves a chance every game. All right, Kyrie, you've had some of your best games out here in the Bay Area, and you said it's not going to be you against Steph, but uh, how do you feel about playing out here? And then the second part is, with all you went through early in the season, where are you now mentally and physically? Uh, well, I think uh, a lot of things that have happened throughout the season are in the rear view. I haven't forgot about them, but uh, uh, it's something that uh, I don't prioritize as much because the, the team is most important here and uh, just make sure I prepare the best way I know how mentally, physically, and emotionally. Uh, so I feel like we're past that as an organization and a team, uh, me individually, stronger mentally. And, um, you know, in terms of going against the Warriors and being out here, it, it's, uh, it's amazing to see the change here in San Francisco. So used to going over to Oakland. Um, you know, to play against the Warriors, but uh, I still feel uh, the same fan appreciation here. Uh, still championship fans, and they expect a great product out there, great players. So um, I never take it for granted when I'm here playing this amazing arena, this new arena. Um, you know, look forward to it in the future. Kyrie, you talked about when Kevin first went down, it was going to be a feeling out process, kind of figure out how to win in this time without him. And, and you also said earlier this week how, you know, you felt the times you were forcing stuff and then you got playing your best basketball when you kind of s stopped that. I mean, just how much do you think you and the group have kind of figured out these past two games how to win without Kevin? Uh, roles with that? Yeah, I think the most important thing is, is not letting your confidence waver. Um, it's easy to miss a few shots and, and mentally... Uh, kind of get into a funk. So we, we didn't want to have that. I didn't want to have that specifically. Um, and I told you guys that I was putting a lot of pressure on myself to, you know, be the, the first option or the second option or be the main one. Um, and this is just a message for everybody at home, just like first. Um, it don't matter who has the ball in their hands, unless, as long as they're being aggressive, it's the best shot for our team. Um, the objective of this team sport is to win basketball games, not identify one person to carry everybody every single night. Um, and some nights are gonna, it's gonna occur like that or seem like that, but for me, it's just the team attitude, team atmosphere, and um, you know, living with the results for us playing well together and collectively. Kyrie, to follow up on the team aspect of, especially this one, do you feel like given the circumstances that this was the best win of the season to date? Uh, I I just want to put wins in the column, uh, to be honest with you. Um, it, it feels good to get a win here, obviously, when you're playing against a, a fully healthy, um, you know, Warriors team. Obviously, we didn't see Wiggs so much in the third and fourth quarter. Um, but we, we can look at this win and, and assure ourselves that if we can do it here and we can do it against this team, then we should be able to do it against anybody. Um, and, you know, and they're coming off a tough few road uh, wins and losses so we wanted to come in and really prove ourselves I think this was a great test and uh, looking forward to more challenges throughout the season uh, hey Kyrie uh, from the first quarter and the fourth quarter especially the beginning I saw you drive kick and assist 
and especially the fourth quarter, and you had a huge assist. But during the second and third quarter, I can tell you were aggressive. How did you make that balance to attack the rim and assist your teammate? Uh, just reading the game at a very high level, uh, being able to maximize on the possessions where I see an ISO one-on-one -on -one with me and my defender. And then also when they start doubling or make it tough and want to funnel me to my left or funnel me to my right, just making quick decisions. So it felt good to uh, be able to make the right reads tonight, and uh, we were successful as a team.